All right, I just wanted to do a quick video on these Intellitech contactors that you find in a lot of campers and road checks and whatnot. So uh, I always was kind of confused on how they worked until I started to look at the wiring and then it became fairly simple in my mind. So I'm going to try to explain it in uh, simple terms that I've figured out so that it might help someone else who decides to install one. But I wouldn't ins recommend installing one. I'd recommend installing like a Blue C contactor. They're uh, quite a bit nicer. But anyway, I have a video on those if you want to watch about these. So this Intellitech contraption has been retired. But basically you have a battery side, a DC load side, and then there's a fuse on either side. So typically this fuse on the DC load side just runs an LED in the road track to tell you that there's power on your DC load side. That's all it does. It doesn't tell you if the contactor is closed or not. And that confuses everybody that owns a road track. It's just bizarre the way they're wired up. So anyway, that's all it is. It doesn't tell you that the contactor is closed and is charging your coach battery. It's not. It's just giving you an LED that there's power on the uh, load side battery post or load side post. Then this other one here, the orange wire that comes off of the uh, battery side is your power for your switch. And then you've got these two terminals. And if you put them positive negative or negative positive, it opens and closes the contactor. So that's uh, the one end of this thing. Then when you look at the way it's installed by Road Trek, they use that battery switch on the uh, right. It's a double pull, double throw momentary switch. And then that on light is just an LED that's hot glued into the back of the terminal. And then you can see that there's a, a switch beside it. So to make to flip the uh, thing back and forth, all they do is the uh, white is negative and the orange is positive. And then you've got your purple and gray is the color road track side to use on the inside. So on the outside, you can see ground here and ground here across the corners and then power and power across the other corners of the switch. And then you've got your connectors that go back to the uh, Intellitech switch in the middle. So when you push the switch one way, you're gonna join these poles of the switch to positive and negative that way. When you push it the other way, as you can see, you flipped it the opposite way. And that is how you get that contactor to open and close in opposite directions. So it's a momentary switch. You don't have to hold it down. You just push it until it clicks, then you let go and you're good. Then you push it back the other way and it closes the other way. So if you're gonna wire this up, just wire up two corners of the switch opposite and the other corner is opposite with the power or negative. And then hook up your purple and gray. And if it works opposite to what you want it to do, just switch your purple and gray wires and then it'll work correctly. And then you've got a, another wire that comes back and runs your LED. If you have an LED in your installation or you just decide not to use that, it's up to you. So anyway, hopefully that kind of uh, resolves the mystery of it. This is how it's wired in here according to road track but it it's a simplification. I tried to uh, figure out how it works here but it got kind of complicated to draw it so I just decided to explain it instead. So hopefully you find that useful. Thank you for watching.